Hey, Mike, Mike in, in team drills, do you guys go one on one, you know, one v one ever, or it's always one v two for you guys? Uh, probably one v two. I don't know. So I was curious. So you don't know how, like, when you guys play the one defense, you don't. Oh, 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 oh! It go um, two offense, one defense, and um. Right, one offense, two one defense. Offense, so you defense, haven't yeah. gone against the first team defense at all. This, yeah, I've, I've been the whole count. Basically, I've been going against the ones. Okay, that's the second defense. team. Okay, yeah, but second, you have no yeah. sense for how the first team offense would do against the first team defense at this point. Basically. Uh, you know, we all compete. I mean, we come out and dominate one day, and defense come dominate the other day. So it's just being like a consistent thing. Mike, what Mike. specific skill has been your priority for improvement this offseason? What one thing would you point to? I'd probably priority? say patience at the line, working my hands. I got way better from last year because, you know, off the, off the if a cornerback in my face, off the jam, last year I probably was like pour up my hands, releases. But Coach Dugans and I worked on that a lot in the offseason and now. So I'd probably say my hands and my releases way better and attacking the ball in the air. Mike, we, we've asked you a lot about Malik, um, but I wanted to ask you just kind of from Nikosi, Cade, and Jaron, what, what growth did you see from that group in camp? Maturity. Uh, I see them guys mature a lot. Um, they got the plays down packed, and um, the problem was probably for the younger guys, like you said, Cade, Nikosi, and Jaron was probably like uh, defense, ring defenses. Mm -hmm. So I feel like they matured a lot in the, uh, in the classroom and on the field. And the part, they have to be just like consistent. When things not going right, they have to step up and be, like, be a leader mm -hmm. and like take, take the uh, Take the role. Mike, that in the ACC Mike, title Mike. game, obviously you guys weren't successful as, as far as play goes, but did it help at all playing in a big stadium that's not your own? And how do you think that can help you getting ready for you know LSU at AT&T? Uh, you know, that was that was that was an um, exciting stadium, but you know, hard, I, I think the Hard Rock is better. But you know, <laughs> um, me coming up out of high school, I played at a lot of big big fields. It's, it's just another game, bigger lights, more fans, not to it, no pressure. What is, are you talking about at t What have you heard about at t I just heard it's a, it's a huge, like, skyscraper TV, and um, <laughs> just don't get distracted looking at it when you make a play. <laughs> and so that's probably, like, the hardest thing I'm trying to not to focus on is the TV. Why would you do that? Uh, I don't know. Probably if I catch a ball and I'm running full speed and look at the TV <laughs> and see if someone behind me, so, you know, I can just uh, make a cut or something. <laughs> it's like a little reflection on me. But I'm not trying to get the scratch. I'm trying to make a play and just head for a touchdown. Have you spent any time living at LSU question. at all on film? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I've been studying LSU since the spring, mm -hmm. and um, as a unit, we um just hopped in on LSU game plan. So um, we're prepping, studying film and stuff like that. But I was watching way back in springtime. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. So you know, I'm just getting the plays down packed, studying their releases and stuff like that. You know, just being ahead of the game. They're supposed to have a good defense. Hey, everybody have a great defense in the SEC. And if you're in college, period, you're on scholarship. So, you know, you got to come out and dominate. Awesome. Thank you, Mike. Thank, Thank you. you.